Hello, my friends of Hattery Labs. My name is Saul Montoya. Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about uh, the process of the results uh, of a mod, uh, mod flow model, specifically the water table into QIS. So, what is this about? In model news, model news, we can have yeah, and we can have the output. Okay. And we can represent even the water table. So we can represent the water table as contours. Okay. Great. So I will say apply. Okay, cool. So here I have the water table as contours. Okay. But most of the time we do need to do some processing. So GIS processing, we need to create figures, we need to uh, what we need, we need to, to automatize our results, uh, we need to make comparisons, we need to make an animation of the develop, of the depletion of the groundwater levels. So, so we, we need to do lots of stuff with our, with our, uh, with our model. Okay. And sometimes we, the, the normal process will be to file, export, Chip file and then export all the chip files and so on. Okay, and then import them to GIS to QIS. So in this case, we have created a tutorial that actually reads the output of this of the model. After you can create a raster. Okay, how we do that? Okay, it's not so complicated. What we do is we uh, so. In the end, what you will see is the you will see the what the raster of the water table here. Actually, not the contours because the the code only do the raster, but the raster is already georeferenced, and then you can compare them with the with the um, with a uh, in digital image or uh, Google image or satellite image or a shape file. Okay, so how we do that? Okay, let's start. Okay, you will on the description of this video you will find the code. So the code I I it's my first time that I create a code with so much comments on that because actually it's my purpose that you can understand the code. Uh, well, you have to understand a bit with Python, but in any case the code is, uh, is intended that you can recreate and then you can see which part of the code is doing. So the first part of the code will be to, okay. First, we import the required, import the required libraries, okay? Matplotlib, OS, Re, NumPy, OSGeo, okay? And then we import, we change of there because actually we are not, I mean, here, we are not working where the mod, where where the where the results are, okay? So okay, so this part of the code actually goes to an address, but it, this will be different from for you. So you have to change this address for for your address, okay? And then you will see. I mean, you will receive a folder like this that you will paste in documents. Is my recommendation. And here is the model, and the model has a well, lot of stuff that maybe you will receive less, but it will have it will have the HFT file and the GH GPT file. Okay, it will have these three files. Okay, so this is so it's actually this address. Okay, and it will it will open the this file. Okay. By opening the, this file, can, uh, I mean, if you go, if you open the, this file with a text editor, you will see that the, there is, it appears what is the X min, X max, Y min, Y max, okay? As, uh, but in this case, the Python read this and convert it to values, okay? And then, it reads as well the number of layers, the number of holes, and the number of 
columns and from that we can get the x the resolution on the x direction and the resolution on the y direction okay so this is you will have the code actually you what i'm doing this is just describing so i run this okay so in, in if i say print and lay in rows and calls I run it i will say i have 10 layers 159 rows 156 columns okay cool great so i will run the second part the second part of the code actually the, the first part deals with the required package and as well the discretization and the second part read okay just the heads so first we open uh, the the FHD file that is the formatted version of the heads from Outflow. But the we got the breakers, so these are the lines that are in between the value from the layers, yeah. And we create an empty array for the model to store the more results. Okay, great. Then we load all the heads on one layer. Okay, then we reshape them to the grid dimensions. add them to the number array that is head matrix okay cool that's isn't that great yes i really hope that you can you can follow because this is but the um, python is is i mean if you like to code or like at the beginning if you are not well Python, I strongly recommend that you spend some time with this because you can do lots of stuff with them. For a normal groundwater modeler that for every report you create the same figure or like for every update you have to recreate all the figures, please think that this can be a good, excellent tool to do this quicker and faster. Okay, and then, and then, uh, focus on like spend more time of what is what is important on this that is understanding the groundwater understanding nature but understanding the groundwater flow system okay <laughs> okay so then we create uh, our purpose of this tutorial is not to represent uh, the water heads in one layer but this is going to represent the water table so we create an empty an empty water table okay cool and then we create um this was a because actually if you open the fhd file uh, you will see that the empty heads or like uh, the dry cells are with a value that is are with with a value that is minus 2 10 to the 10 to the minus 20 i guess yeah it's an it's an absolute value but it's the value that actually represents that the dry is cell that the cell is dry okay so uh i created a, here a small list comprehension that actually get the first value that is not a dry cell okay so this is this is the this is the the value okay so i run this I see water table is let's see water table but I will do some slicing I I like I really love slicing because slicing is something of the most I don't know if there is a slicing in another I suppose Python is really powerful and list comprehensions as well something so this is the a part of the matrix that represents the water table cool so then i will run the third part of this that is more this third part is more related with the output raster so we have already um we already have uh and what we, what we will do no we have already an array and then we can convert to the raster so we on the part three first we create we define the 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 name of their output raster then if if this output raster exists actually we remove it because if it if the value exists actually you cannot 
so you have to remove it first. So we create a raster and the parameters. Okay, then this is the definition of the value, but then we have to create them and then we have to we have to define the geo transformation. So here, okay, cool. And then we have to assign a spatial reference by the GPSG code. So well, if you deal with QIS, you always work with the GPSG code. And this is the 32717, that is WGS UTM, no, WGS 84 UTM song 17 South. Okay. Right. Cool. And then you have, you write, the results after okay and then what else actually you add a raster to the canvas okay cool run it and this is look how fast is it is really fast yeah it's really it's it's amazing if you if you deal if you deal with, if you do reporting or whatever you need to do with the groundwater model, this is really fast. So you can do this, you can do many, many plots because in the end what people read about, understand about model is the plots. So, well, I hope that more, more people can how the model is done and uncertainties and so on, but they, they see a plot and they think that this is okay. Okay, however, uh, we can put a, you know, a physical image or like maybe satellite image I will do. And then you will see, okay, that this is here. As you can do like you can, I can create, uh, actually you can do this with code, but kind of lazy and <laughs> I will do it with processing. And with processing, I will do some intervals here. Intervals. Look, and then I can. Okay, I can compare them. I will do. I. I will do something pretty because color is fresh. Cool. Okay, great. And then I don't like the satellite image for this. I prefer the Google physical. Okay, cool. And then you see that actually the water table follow the the the. Okay. So actually you can play around with this code and then you can plot maybe the boundary conditions and so on. And I hope that this will be much helpful for you. Okay, so you will, as I have said, you will find the, the code of this tutorial on the description of the video. And what else, something important, what we are, Hattari Labs. Ankatari Labs is a blog in numerical modeling, GIS, and programming. Okay, so we have many tutorials. Yeah, and uh, we have as well a newsletter where you can drop your email, and then you will receive one one newsletter every time that we get a tutorial. Maybe it's two two times per week. We have a Facebook account, a Twitter account. Okay. And as well, if you like this video, please give it a like to this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Ol Montoya once again, and I hope that you have a great day and see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.